New chilling developments have surfaced in the saga of the Comanchero Bikies and their world commander, Mark Buttle, who appeared in a court hearing. In this video, we dive into the latest developments surrounding the Comancheros, Mark Buttle, and his network of some important associates. These updates are from Australia, the Middle East, and also from the US. In a dramatic move, the Council of Ministers of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus has issued a sweeping ban on members of the notorious Comanchero MC, with specifically banning and barring 26 bikies from entering the country. These individuals, branded as fugitives and wanted in Turkey for their alleged involvement in criminal activities, now find themselves shut out from yet another refuge. Northern Cyprus is a region located on the northern part of the island of Cyprus. It declared itself as the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus in 1983, following a Turkish military intervention. The region is recognized only by Turkey and is not internationally recognized as an independent state. The area is governed by its own administration, but it relies heavily on Turkey for economic, political, and military support. Northern Cyprus can be appealing to fugitives and organized crime due to its political isolation and lack of international recognition, which can make it harder for authorities from other countries to pursue and extradite criminals. The region's complex geopolitical situation and limited law enforcement resources can also contribute to a perception of it being a safe haven. The Comanchero World Commander Mark Buttle, was himself expelled from Northern Cyprus in 2022, after he had tried to vanish into the shadows of the Middle East for over two years. But his refuge didn't last. In a dramatic turn, he was smoked out, arrested, then sent to mainland Turkey and finally was forcibly deported to Australia. Now he finds himself in the stark reality of isolation and segregation, the walls closing in as his past finally catches up with him. Turning back to Northern Cyprus, authorities have also declared three individuals, potentially linked to the Comancheros, namely Hussein Gizabayak, his wife Isun, and Amir Hussein, as a persona non grata. This Latin term, meaning an unwelcome person, is used in diplomatic and legal contexts to denote someone who is barred from entering or remaining in a country. When someone is declared persona non grata, they are effectively banned, often due to activities deemed objectionable or threatening by the government. And further revelations have also surfaced, unraveling deeper connections in the ongoing investigation. A report by Turkey's Financial Crimes Investigation Board has linked former Dutch footballer Wesley Snader, who once played for Galatasaray, to the Comanchero Motorcycle Club. The report alleges that the Comancheros laundered millions of dollars from drug trafficking through Turkish companies, with one key player being a company, named Borhan Group Yatram Limited, founded by Yunus Borhan who was also detained during last year's crackdown. Investigators discovered that Borhan's companies received significant funds from various sources, including a notable $1.18 million from Snader. In his testimony, Borhan confirmed a childhood friendship with Hakan Arif, who introduced him to Snader. The funds were reportedly transferred to Borhan Group Investment Incorporated and its subsidiary, Econ Real Estate. However, Snader has denied any involvement in the illicit activities. Back in Australia, Mark Buttle has made his appearance at a recent committal hearing at Melbourne's Magistrates Court. This hearing peeled back the curtain on Buttle's life abroad, revealing tantalizing new details. In 2021, Buttle wasn't hiding in the shadows but was instead living it up for two months in a hotel in Erbil, northern Iraq. This city is the capital and most populated city in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. It is a major cultural and economic hub in the region, known for its mix of modernity and tradition. The city has experienced significant development in recent years, with new infrastructure, shopping malls, and luxury hotels emerging, particularly in areas like Dream City and Ainkawa, which are popular among expatriates and foreign investors. Erbil is often referred to as the Dubai of Iraq because of its rapid modernization and the luxurious lifestyle it offers in certain parts of the city. Testimony from a Kurdish translator and an Australian federal police agent painted a vivid picture of Buttle's lifestyle here. He wasn't exactly blending in with the crowd, instead, he was rolling around with a personal driver and translator, hitting up restaurants, bars, and even an upscale gym called Alpha Gym, nestled in the exclusive gated community of Dream City. The translator, testifying via video link alongside the hotel owner and another witness, laid it all bare, he said that Buttle was a regular at the gym, working out four times a week. Alpha Gym isn't just any fitness center, it's one of Iraq's top-tier establishments, boasting state-of-the-art equipment and a boxing ring. The translator also recounted a curious encounter in October 2021, months after Buttle had left Iraq. 
an AFP agent sought him out, pressing him for information about Buttle and another mysterious man who had briefly stayed at the same hotel. The agent even flashed a photo of a bald man in sunglasses, which the translator promptly identified. It seems Buttle's life abroad was anything but low-key, raising more questions about his true activities during that time. In this major hearing, the authorities alleged that Buttle used the encrypted messaging app Onom, which was secretly set up and monitored by the FBI and AFP, to orchestrate a $40 million cocaine shipment into Melbourne in May 2021. The drugs were allegedly smuggled from Hong Kong to Melbourne via Sydney, disguised as a shipment of air filters. Detective leading senior constable Craig O'Brien testified that Buttle left Australia in 2016 and lived in Dubai before moving to Erbil, where he was under surveillance by an associate agency. The federal agent's statement revealed that an Onom device with the handle Condor, sent and received over 3,000 messages, many of which allegedly discussed the drug shipment. Buttle was eventually targeted by an Interpol red notice and was deported from Iraq in July 2021. He was extradited from Turkey to Australia on a charter plane in August 2022. Now back in Australia, Buttle, who required additional security at his hearing, is set to return to court next week as the case against him continues to unfold. This story was first published by Herald Sun. Furthermore, Buttle associate Jordan Curry, the president of the Lone Wolf Bikey Club, has been arrested and faces life imprisonment after a global sting operation. It is being reported that it was Curry after Buttle, who led one of Australia's most powerful cocaine cartels known as the Commission, demanding high prices and setting up stringent rules. He was apprehended in Greece in 2021 and extradited to the US. He recently pleaded guilty in Florida to money laundering and attempting to import 50 kilograms of cocaine into Australia from South America via the US, making American authorities interested. The operation, led by the US Drug Enforcement Agency with Australian support, revealed Curry's extensive criminal activities. He coordinated the laundering of millions of dollars and trafficked large quantities of cocaine and methamphetamine. The sting involved a complex network of undercover agents and police forces from various states, who facilitated the movement of nearly $3 million in drug money. Curry's arrest marks a significant blow to organized crime in Australia and highlights the successful international cooperation in tackling major drug syndicates. He is set to be sentenced in October and faces a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. Currently Buttle is held at Barwon Prison, a high-risk, maximum security facility located 6 kilometers from Lara, near Geelong, Victoria. Barwon was built to accommodate the increased demand following the closures of Geelong Prison in 1991 and Pentridge Prison in 1997. Barwon is the only maximum security prison in Victoria located outside the Melbourne metropolitan area. Over the years, it has housed some of Australia's most notorious criminals. Buttle is believed to be kept in one of the segregation cells, which are designed for isolating high-risk or problematic inmates from the general prison population. A segregation cell typically confines an inmate for up to 23 hours a day, with limited contact with other prisoners and staff. The isolation is both physical and psychological, intended to prevent any potential conflicts, gang-related activities, or escape plans. Inmates in segregation are under constant surveillance, with regular checks by prison guards and strict protocols in place to ensure that they remain contained and monitored at all times. These cells are sparse, with minimal furnishings, a bed, a toilet, and a small wash basin. The environment is intentionally stark, with little to no natural light, reinforcing the isolation. Meals are delivered through a small slot in the door, and any time outside the cell, such as for exercise or showers, is strictly controlled and often conducted in solitude. For inmates like Mark Buttle, who are considered high profile or who face threats from other prisoners, segregation cells offer a measure of protection, albeit at the cost of severe restrictions on freedom and social interaction. The use of these cells is a reflection of Barwin's commitment to maintaining order and security within its walls, ensuring that even the most dangerous prisoners are kept under control. If you're looking for more thrilling and edgy bikey updates, don't hesitate, whack that subscribe button, spread and share the video, hit that like button, and drop your thoughts in the comments. And for the true grid Spartans out there, consider sending a super thanks or buy us a coffee to show some love. Your support keeps us going and the channel thriving, especially since most of our videos aren't monetized due to all the crime-related content. Stay tuned, stay curious, stay awesome, and take care. Wu-Tang.
fierce and bold Grits pottery for truth unfold What are those? Tough and cold Come out your rose Stories told Oh!